flash sync at any shutter speed, what does this mean for photographers and how does the Sony A9 III make this possible? By now, perhaps you've heard about the A9 III and its global shutter, but one of the things that global shutter makes possible is flash sync at any shutter speed. Most cameras with rolling shutter sensors are limited in how fast of a shutter you can use before you run into exposure issues because of that mismatch between the flash duration and the shutter speed. High speed shutter sync addresses this but negatively affects the light output because the flash essentially has to turn into a continuous light while flashing. Even leaf shutter cameras that capture the entire scene and have the shutter inside the lens have their limitations when it comes to shutter speed. But that all changes with global shutter. While you still need the flash to flash precisely with the shutter, you don't have to worry about varying exposures in a captured frame because the camera reads the entire sensor all at once rather than line by line. This is significantly faster and unlocks the ability to sync flash at any shutter speed. And I'm talking all the way down to 80 thousandth of a second with the A9 III. So it's no secret that global shutter unlocks new photographic capabilities in allowing photographers to freeze the action at incredibly high shutter speeds, allowing them to control ambient light and with a short flash duration. This also hinges on the flash capabilities of the flash that you're using and its capability to reach peak power in such a short duration. But what do you think of the flash sync capabilities that global shutter now unlocks? Let us know in the comments below.